So, Chris Smith, you've just done a fantastic talk here to our great room. And one of the things that you said in your lecture was that you were concerned about how small a proportion of the government's bailout package, as it were, is being spent on uh, environment-related initiatives. How big an initiative do you think that is? Well, I think that's a, it's, a, it's a very serious issue because there's an absolutely golden opportunity here. Uh, you've got uh, uh, the government wanting to give a, a big stimulus to the economy uh, based around the concept of public works, uh, absolutely the right uh, decision for the government to make in order to, to, to at least prevent the, the recession getting even worse than it might otherwise be, help to, to push things into the future. And yet far too little of it is based around the sort of green initiatives which can not only help economically now, but can also help us environmentally and in terms of climate change into the future. Um, now, by contrast, as I pointed out, there are uh, other countries way ahead of us. In, in you said 69% uh, in South Korea. In so so South Korea is exceptional, and, right. and, the, and the, the, the total amount isn't huge, right. uh, but the total amount in, um, in places like China and America is huge. Um, and a very large percentage of that is going on green technologies, renewable energy, uh, the sort of things which uh, you, you can get an easy, quick win uh, for, the, uh, for the economy with. Um, and I really do hope that um, uh, the government, as, as they're now coming up to the budget, coming up to the low carbon economy statements, I, I hope they'll, they'll actually seize this as an opportunity. I can ask you just one other question, which is that I gave the example in, in my brief comments of the move from lead petrol to lead free petrol as an example of where getting everything aligned you can achieve great change quickly and I think in your speech the closest you got to that was when you were talking about domestic energy efficiency. Do you think there is an opportunity over the next couple of years to, to be absolutely transformative in terms of the efficiency of our homes if we line things up oh, in that way? If, if we do it in the right way, absolutely yes. Um, uh, but we have to make it easy for people. Yeah. It's, it's no good just putting a, 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 some provisions in place where you say uh, people can claim up to 50% mm. off uh, uh, if they uh, go about insulating their homes. No one will do it. A few people who know how to go about doing You're already it will, converted. Um, but but it, w it won't take off. Mm. What you've got to do is, is, is almost to put it right in front of people's faces uh, and say, here are the things which you can do in your house. And you're suggesting uh, people knocking on doors. Yes, and absolutely. And, uh, well, you know, we've done it before. Uh, there'll we, be plenty we, of people we, looking for we, jobs we, to do we, it. And we, we, we're doing it for the transition to uh, digital television. Yeah. Why, why on earth can't we do it for, um, uh, for, for energy efficiency? Getting people realising what they need to do um, and then taking the hassle out of doing it. And getting them to commit to it there and then. Yep. Chris Smith, thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.